Hello everybody, thank you for returning to Lolly's World. Today we'll be making a corn salad or my family corn salad the way we make it. What you're gonna need is two cans of um, corn seeds, the whole corns, two red bell peppers, some pickles, I'm just using the ones we canned earlier this year, uh, some black pepper, salt, mayonnaise, and if you have dill, go ahead and get some dill out. We just don't have any at the house right now and it's not exactly the season for it either, so I'm just gonna make it without it. So our first step is to open both cans of corn, drain them out, and then put the corn in our bowl. We want a medium to large bowl. So just drain it all out. Now I prefer to open them over the sink because sometimes the water can jump right out and make a mess. And with the knife what I'm doing is just lifting it up a little. If you have a little bit of water going in there, that's perfectly fine. Alright, now that you got both cans of corn in your bowl, we're going to put it aside and grab our bell peppers. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wash and cut our bell peppers. Some people wash them first, some people cut them first. I prefer to cut them first and cut them whatever way you like. I just find this the easiest to go across like that and then just scoop all of this out. And then I'll wash these individual pieces and throw away the seeds. Or keep them for a garden, whatever you want. So let's clean our peppers bag and then we'll get chopping. Alright, now that my peppers are cleaned and washed, I'm just going to chop them. You use whatever knife, whatever cutting board you feel more comfortable with. Some people like sharper and, or bigger knives. I'm just fine with this one. It's my go-to knife with a lot of kitchen stuff. So my way of chopping is really just doing the stripes and then moving it aside. I'm just going across the cubes. But you chop however you want to chop. Just chop the peppers and put them in the bowl with the corn. Alright, guys, at this point in time, your bell peppers should be ch uh, chopped and with the corn. But we should be able to move on to pickles. As I said, you can use whatever kind of pickles you want. I'm just using the ones that my parents pickled earlier this year. And all I'm going to do is chop them as well. Now, if you don't like pickles, of course, you can skip this part as to how many pickles. I usually start with this many and kind of eye it and I cut some and I put in and cut some and put in and if I need some more I'll add some more and if not not but this is my starting point so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 about 14 slices is what I have now of course if you don't 
don't like as many, you can use one or two. If you like more, you may put in as many as you want. And I'm just layering it on top right now. Now, as I mentioned before, this recipe usually calls for dill, but we don't have any in the house right now. It's not really the season for it. So I don't have any dill, but if you do have it and you want to use it, this would be the time to add a little bit of dill into it. And if you don't know what it is, it's a herb. It's spelled D-I-L-L. -L. And you can get it in more grocery stores and you can grow it yourself as well. I'm gonna wash my hands here real quick. I'll show you. This is what I got so far. Just the corn tomato uh, bell peppers. There's no tomatoes in there, excuse me. And pickles. And I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna take care of this, wash it up, and we'll get spicing. So, with the mayonnaise, I usually take a tablespoon and just put a good two spoons or so in there. Sorry, you all fell down on me, so I'm not sure if you cut that or not. But when it comes to the mayonnaise, I use two good tablespoons of mayonnaise in there. And as for the salt and pepper, I really kind of just eye it and taste it to see where we're at. So there's some salt. Some black pepper. And I'm just going to mix it all up. And the reason why I don't spice things as we go is because when you're making something and you spice it as you go, when you add new ingredients, you are changing the formula. Therefore, you would be needing to spice it up even more. So there it is. Usually I'd put a piece of dill on top of it to decorate it a little bit. But since I don't have any right now, that's what we got. There it is. It tastes good. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as we do. Have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day.